Colorado took care of business and had a Hail Mary overtime win against Baylor and what that has led on the recruiting trail for the Buffs. Let's talk about it after the bumper. Stay tuned. What is going on, everybody? What is going on, everybody? My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe to the notification bell because I upload all the time. Now, Colorado pulled off a miracle victory against Baylor, being down, I think, 14 points, making that comeback. Shador Sanders being Shador Sanders, going into what he calls the Brady mode. Baylor playing a horrendous prevent defense. And then LeJonte Wester and Shador making a play in the rain that allowed them to get into overtime, score a touchdown. And then, of course, the superstar was a superstar, and that is Travis Hunter. His fifth straight game with over 100 yards receiving. I think it's the first time ever in the history of Colorado for a receiver or a playmaker like Travis. I just want to, I don't want to box him in as a receiver. He's a playmaker, a playmaker like Travis Hunter to pull off that. And, and it's the first time in the history of the program for someone to even do that. And this has led to the momentum of Colorado on the recruiting trail. So after they get that big time win, uh, Colorado then uh, there's some predictions by recruiting experts. And, and there was some big time players that were there uh, that witnessed that game, and one of those players being uh, none other than a, a four-star defensive back, Antonio Branch, who was committed to Penn State out of Miami Northwestern. You know, Prime loves the kids from Florida. He decides to flip his commitment from Penn State to Colorado. So Colorado building on that class of 2025 uh, recruiting class. Deion Sanders in Colorado flips Antonio Branch from Penn State. Let's read the article from Steve Wilfong. A Miami Northwestern on three industry, four-star rated defensive back, and Penn State commit Antonio Branch Jr. took his official visit to Colorado over the weekend to watch the Baylor game, and he came away committed as a Buffalo. Branch's mother, Trina, told on three on Monday that her son has flipped his pledge to play for head coach Deion Sanders in Colorado. Trina raved about the experience over the weekend. Quote, I would say it's a good potential fit because he has an opportunity to start as a true freshman. Trina said, quote, wouldn't who wouldn't want to be coached by Deion Sanders? Someone that played the position Antonio was playing. Besides football, the atmosphere, the mountains, oh my God, the view was just gorgeous. The people were wonderful, nice, loving. It felt like family. Defensive coordinator Robert Livingston and on-campus director Mylika Slayton are a couple of others the Branch family enjoyed being around. Quote, the D.C., he's wonderful. Trina said, Colorado, there's some one to keep an eye out on. So that happened. Uh, you get one four-star defensive back, but he wasn't on that recruiting trip alone. Uh, there was another young man that was there with him as well. He's currently committed to Indiana. His name is Byron Baldwin. And I just want to show you this also from Steve Wilfong. Wilfong, who wrote that article, who's been in touch with these recruits, who's one of the top recruiting people in the entire industry. Uh, he put in a, a prediction of a flip of the four-star safety Byron Baldwin, who's currently committed to Indiana. He believes Byron will flip and become a Colorado Buffalo by the time signing day hits. And Byron was also on that official visit to see the comeback by the Buffs, to see Travis Hunter make plays both on offense and the game-winning play on defense and overtime to force the fumble out of the back of the end zone. He saw all of that, and he is someone that Will Fong believes will flip his commitment from Indiana to the Buffaloes. And this shows that Coach Prime is building. He's working on the recruiting trail. It's not something that has been uh, his forte since he's been at Colorado is to go out and get a, a, a number, a nice handful of high school recruits. But it looks like he's starting to do that. Uh, and this is something to watch out. Now, you guys know, I know the, the people that call me a hater. I, I, I just call it how I see it. I shoot it straight. I've been on here saying I don't I don't think Prime will be the head coach of Colorado next year. But doing things like this. It could convince me otherwise. I always felt like Prime, Travis Hunter, and Shadour were all going out together. Now, we're still only four games into the season. They are three and one. So that is good momentum. They're 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 killing it uh, on the field. Three and one. That's the best case scenario that they could have had coming out of this. I knew they dropped one of those games. I always felt like it would be in the Nebraska game. Didn't think they would lose to North Dakota State, but they made it tough. 
Didn't think they'd lose to Colorado State. They beat the hell out of them. And I knew Baylor would be tough. And Baylor probably feels like they should have won, but they didn't. Colorado did because Shadur was Shadur and Travis was Travis. They did. Their superstars played like superstars. And you can't ask much, uh, much more from two guys that are projected to go top 10 in the NFL draft. But now the schedule is starting to get tough. You're 14-point dogs on the road against Central Florida. You also have Kansas on the schedule, Arizona on the schedule who's ranked, uh, Oklahoma State on the schedule who's ranked, uh, Kansas State on the schedule who's ranked. Like the Big 12 is tough. So you have some tough games and things can, can change on an instant. These kids can flip commitments. It happens all the time. But what it looks like is Prime is building a foundation of high-level recruits to build upon if – he is going to be the coach next year if he is going to continue to lead the Buffaloes moving forward. So that that is a good for the Buffalo fans. These are good signs. You get Antonio Branch Jr. You're on the verge of potentially flipping. If Will Fong says you're going to flip him, you're probably going to flip him. The Byron of uh, the young man, Byron, I don't want to mess up, Byron Baldwin. So you're on the edge of getting two more four-star recruits. You're also in the mix with five-star quarterback Julian Lewis. I don't think he'll flip from USC, but you've been in hot and heavy with Julian Lewis, uh, who probably could potentially think he could come in and start right away. So these are all good signs for Deion Sanders and the future of the Buffaloes program. And what you have to do is stay consistent and play now these, this tougher part of your schedule. You have to play it well. You have to build upon – that offensive line, it's still struggling, but you're winning. You have to build upon that running game. You you look more balanced against uh, against uh, Baylor. You had 40 rushing attempts, the 12 of them quarterback, but nonetheless, 40 rushing attempts. You have to build upon these things and continue to build that 25 class. Obviously, you're going to use the portal, but you supplement the good programs, have great high school classes, and supplement what they miss on, guys that they misevaluated or whatever, with the portal. They cherry pick the portal. Don't bring in 40 players every single year. So this is something, this is positive momentum. Continue to have positive momentum. And maybe, just maybe, more people will believe in the Buffaloes. But this is a good, this, this is good. I'm not going to act like it isn't good. I'd be a hater, like you guys say I am when I'm not. I'd be a hater if I said this wasn't good. This is good stuff. To flip kids from Penn State, a Miami kid, a kid from Miami, Miami Northwestern, who was going to Penn State, and to flip him, to get him to come to Colorado, to Boulder, that's tough. To flip a kid that was going to go play at Indiana, to come to Boulder, this is tough. These are good, good signs. Got to be able to keep it up, and the best way to keep it up is to continue to win on the field. Upset a team like UCF, that Vegas thinks you're a 14-point dog. Yeah, go down to UCF, go down, to, I think they call it the bounce house. Go down to the bounce house in Central Florida and make your presence felt and continue to shock the rest of the college football world. And we'll see what happens. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Colorado is taking that Hail Mary win and using it to make big time moves on the recruiting trail. My name is Jeff Lighty Jr. This is the Victor Formation Sports Show right here on Jeff Lighty Jr. YouTube, Facebook, wherever you get your content. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Like, share, subscribe to the notification bell because I upload all the time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for tuning in. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at JLighty7. That is on Twitter and Instagram at jlight7. I will see you guys next time. Peace.